Okay, let's see if we can set up this ICOM 7610 to work on the LAN. First thing we're going to do is we're going to hit the menu, the button down here, and then we're going to go over to the settings, which are over here, and we're going to pick the network setting. Let me zoom in on that a little bit. Network setting has uh, basically got all the answers you need. And uh, we are not using DHCP, so it says uh, off. And I've picked 52 uh, on my network is 172.16 base 42. And uh, 51 is for my computer server that's serving up a couple of ICOM radios, uh, 7300s. And so I picked 60, 52 for this uh, ICOM 7610. And then when you do this manually, you do have to fill in uh, other things like the gateway, which is uh, your router's address normally, and your primary DNS server. Many people choose the router. So here are the various things you can set. There's the, the address that I mentioned that I'm using for this particular radio. Okay, now that's uh, what that is, is that is menu one of three, as you can see here. Now let's go to two of three. We'll, and here's where we have the network name. Now I named my network name W6FCC space LAN. Um, the network control is on. That is if you want to be able to control this on the built-in LAN. And then we have the uh, power for remote control. And what I want to do is when I turn the power off on this radio, I want it to go in standby um, when it shuts down and not completely off. And then in order to avoid conflict with my other computer server, which is on 50,001 up to 50,003, I'm setting this ICOM 7610 up with a different set of uh, starting and uh, addresses for the uh, control. Now let's go to item number three, menu three. Up here, the type of network that I am using is a uh, cable TV type network. If you have a really fast internet, you could choose fiber to the home, uh, but I don't. I have a regular, what most people have here, This, the fiber to the home is very popular. Now down here we have two users. That's all you can set up for ICOM 7610 when you're using the built-in server. So network user number one, uh, I've just created one called test and I gave it a password here. Uh, oh, I make this one a uh, administrator. That helps when you have other people that may be using your radio, you'll be able to disconnect them remotely from ICOM remote if you see them on your server and and uh, they have forgotten to disconnect or done something like that. <clears throat> so that takes care of uh, menu pages one, two, and three. So that pretty much does it. And uh, that's how you set up your server. Now, it does say in all of these settings over here, it says valid after restart. Shut the radio down and turn it back on again. So let's go through the process here. I'm going to go ahead and push the power button and uh, it just shut the power down completely. And now I'm going to turn it back on again. And it comes up and uh, so that's uh, pretty much it. Once you've done that and you've reset the radio, you can go back to your uh, client computer, establish a uh, server, add a server to the server tab with this IP address and uh, this control port and the user ID and what have you. And uh, then you're ready to connect to it on the radio list side, and then you can run up RSPA1 and use it. That's it. This is Jeff, W6FCC, and shutting down this movie right now.